Клуб Краковский.
Well, there it is. Okay. Red flag, and that's a result then. Kubica, Zuba, and Winklehop, the top three. Chciałbym robić to po prostu to, co lubię i niekoniecznie musi dobyć Formuła 1, aczkolwiek marzenia zawsze są marzenia, że może się stać. 19 laps then ahead of us on this two and a half mile 4.1 kilometer circuit at Estoril. Green flag at the back of the grid. They're all away. They're all away. A couple of cars at the back of the grid. A bit sideways. And it's a great start, yeah. Beats him lining himself up for the corner. That was a fantastic, and he's going to go straight through to second place. What a move that was. What a fantastic start for Robert Kubica going through. I knew that if I want to become a Formula 1 driver I have to struggle a lot because I have never had support from my home country and never a big budget so I'm really proud, even more proud that I become a Formula 1 driver if I would have sponsors or, or money. He might do a little bit better than that in qualifying. Kubica, ninth place on his debut for in Formula 1 driving for BMW. Away oh, they go, look for Barrichello accelerating, Massa is slow away, Raikkonen's had a good start, and Massa is being attacked by De La Rosa as they run down four abreast in the first corner, Massa's already lost two places. So I think this would be maybe the very first time he's driven a Formula 1 car in the full wet conditions. Slippery, just look at it, watch the work on the steering wheel, watch the opposite lock as the car starts to slide to the back with the drivers turning in to control that slide, even at low speed it's treacherous. Jensen Button has passed Felipe Massa and Giancarlo Fisichella, unseen by us, Jensen Button is moved up into fifth place, he's looking strong here. Alonso, the fastest man on the track, just sets the fastest lap of the race. 131.1, three tenths of a second faster than Kimi Rowe. Go down the inside of Scott Speed, who defends it well, um, turn two. And I think that's uh, Robert Kubica behind them as well. After his spin, he's stuck behind the slower cars. And he's really fighting to get past Trulli now, who, who is focusing so hard on trying to get past the car in front. As that is a good move round the outside, and Trulli barely gives him room. Um, it's, it's, uh, obviously, the Bridgestones are struggling in, the, in these conditions, it seems. Yeah, Scott Speed had managed to pass Jano Trulli, and now uh, Robert Kubica has done the same thing. Antonio Liuzzi, teammate to Scott Speed, is going to have a go as well. Ted Kravitz, what have we got? Yeah, and none of the Bridgestones are fastest lap of the race. And uh, so, yeah, that's good for Jensen, but uh, still, that was, that was pretty strange what Alonso was doing there. Barrichello goes across the line waving his fist angrily at the cars in front of him. They are a lap down on him. It's a tremendous scrap going on here between Kubica and Ralph Schumacher. This is the battle for ninth place, but Rubens Barrichello is behind them, and he's very angry indeed because he's losing time to Pedro de la Rosa. Kubica is in front of Ralph Schumacher in ninth place. Ralph is in tenth, but it's uh, Barrichello who's pretty angry about all of this. Massa is in front of them as well. They should get out of Rubens. Kubica right. now all over the back of uh, Massa. Massa gives him room. That was fair. And Kubica dives through, and on his debut, he is now in a points paying position. Position. The first Polish driver ever in Formula One is in the on his points. debut. Kubica gets two World Championship points, so another moment of history there. First Polish driver and a real star of the future. There he is, just taking his helmet off. They're off. Schumacher on the left. Watch out for right. 
taken on the right. Schumacher cuts across to cut off Heidfeld. Now look at Kubica going aggressive on Massa. Kubica is past Massa. De La Rosa is having a go as well. And it looks to me like Kubica's up to fourth place. Can he make the chicane though? Yes, he can. Schumacher's having a battle with Heidfeld. They've already tangled this season once already. Where is Alonso as Kubica goes past his teammate? The Polish driver, Robert Kubica, in only his third Grand Prix, is up in the third place. Raikkonen leads it though. Michael Schumacher is second. Heidfeld let Michael Schumacher off the hook big time there. He had the line, he had the speed. But uh, Michael Schumacher went around the outside. Alonso directly up to eighth place for Michael Schumacher. So Raikkonen leads this one. Michael Schumacher, a second and a half behind him. Kubica, stunning first lap for the Polish driver, takes him from sixth on the grid up to third place. He's just four and a half seconds behind the race leader. So who's leading this Grand Prix? A Polish driver by the name of Robert Kubica is still out there. Michael Schumacher's pitted. So has Kimi Raikkonen, and that means that Kubica is leading a lap for the first time in his Formula One career. He's the 11th different, different driver to lead a lap during the course of this season. And hats off to him. It was a stunning start from Kubica to go from sixth place up to third on the opening lap. He goes across the line now as a race leader. Right on the tail of Kubica. This is a massive test now for the youngster from Poland. The travel for Alonso is Kubica's a bit off the pace at the moment, doing 24-0. So the extra two ah, the extra two laps he can go over Massa is not giving him any benefit. And I think this could play well into Felipe Massa's hands. And they're both in the pit at the same time. I think they called Alonso in early, but it hasn't worked because they also called Kubica in. The Renault team have got something to do now. They've got to get him in front of Kubica, that's the first task. The second one is, uh, of course, to get him in front of uh, Massa. So it's very, very close indeed. Jensen Button is also in the pits. Kubica in the pits, Montero. And they're side by side. Right, Alonso on the right, Kubica on the left. It's a drag race as to who's going to get the place here. But Alonso is so determined here. He's had an engine, a massive engine failure, down in the first chicane. Listen to the crowd. And that's Massa going straight on in the aftermath of it. Massa was behind him on the racetrack. That's damaged Massa's tyre. So it's damaged his race. As he argued, Massa down, uh, Alonso damaged his qualifying yesterday. But crucially, from Michael Schumacher's point of view, he was looking with Alonso third and him in the lead at leaving Monza with just eight points behind. But uh, world championship leader Fernando Alonso picking up no points here as we take a look at the replay of Kibitz crossing the line. And uh, let's not forget this man, by far the tallest man on the podium, Robert Kubica. Heroic moment for him. This is where he had his enormous accident last year that many people thought might have killed him. He went on his head at 185 miles an hour. It put him out for a race or two, but he bounced back. This season he has been flawless. He's been on the podium on three occasions already. He's yet to unlock the first victory, but it's coming now here in Montreal where Lewis Hamilton took his first win 12 months ago. Robert Kubica heads a BMW 1-2. Robert Kubica wins in Canada. He takes the lead in the Drivers' World Championship and a star is well and truly born. This guy is an absolute superstar. He doesn't make mistakes. He's as fast as anybody out there. And what's this confidence boost going to do to him? He leads the Drivers' Championship. William Anthem rings out in Formula One.
after 28 races, Robert Kubica has his first victory. The track may have fell apart, fallen apart here in Montreal, but Kubica kept it all together. He leads the Drivers' World Championship. Kubica has undergone surgery after a high-speed crash in Italy in the Ronde di Andorra rally. And I called straight away and it was an hour after and they said it was we're not very much worried about his hand, his, his, his life. When the car went off the road and hit a church wall, it took two hours for the Formula One driver to be free. It will take time and uh, this next two or three months it will be hard. The six-year-old suffered serious injuries to his right hand arm and leg. I visited uh, him uh, a few weeks ago. He was doing pretty well even though considering the accident. The surgeons are trying to repair the driver's right hand. I think it will be a while before he will be uh, fully, fully fit again. fears his hand will be amputated but according to his surgeon Kubica is likely to regain full use but it could take up to a year. We all miss him here because uh, he was guy and a very talented driver. It's a sad prelude to the first race. Seen in the news, uh, Formula One driver Robert Kubica injured horribly in a rally crash. Um, he probably won't be watching, but his family in Poland might be. We didn't want to say that we wish you all the very best. Hope you recover soon and get back behind him. Yeah, he's a terrific driver, really is, uh, Robert. And uh, I'm sure everybody here will join in wishing, uh, wishing him a very speedy recovery. Um, yeah, we do. Well, that's it.
30, prawy 6, krótki 60, prawy 6, krótki 120, lewy 6, krótki 80, prawy 7, szczytem 200, lewy 6, krótki 80, prawy 6, krótki 100, szczytem prosto 100, prawy 6, spytek hamu 60, lewy 4, plus media plusno 3, 120, za szczytem lewy 5 krótki, 140 długi szczyt, stop dół ślisko, lewy nawrót, lewy nawrót. Prawy 4, 220, 30, prawy 4, plus media i otwiera 5, to lewy 5 plus krótki, 30, lewy 4 plus głęboko media, otwiera 6 długi, 40, Lewy 6 plus i 240 Za szczytem prawy 3 plus 3 Prawy 3 plus 3 80 Prawy 6 plus 100 Za szczytem prawy 6 minus media Pyt do lewy 6 krótki Do prawy 7 i 60 Prawy 4 pi, prawy 4 pi, tak, lewy 7 krótki szczytem, prawy 6 krótki, lewy 7 krótki szczytem, prawy 6 krótki, to lewy 5 media, 80, lewy 4 plus, i nic jasno, 60 nie widać, lewy 3 plus bok pi, lewy 3 plus bok pi, ostrożniej trochę, 140, tam prawy 3 minus, ślisko trzymaj, 5 plus krótki, bardzo późno z tych, 220, Lewy 6 krótki C 120 Lewy 6 minus media C 120 Prawy 5 plus media Stypek 100 Lewy 7 240 Prawy 6 plus krótki 80 Prawy 6 minus krótki, zostań hamuj 40, lewy 5 krótki, 30, lewy 4 minus krótki, 20, prawy 2 slow. Prawy 6 minus krótki, do lewy 6 plus krótki, 60. Lewy 6 minus media, zostań 40, prawy 5 plus media. 40, lewy 7 krótki, 80 Prawy 6 plus krótki, do lewy 6 krótki Do prawy 6 plus długi, 80 Lewy 6 krótki, hamuj 80, prawy 4 plus krótki, śmiało 4 plus krótki, śmiało 60 Lewy 6 krótki, do prawy 4 plus krótki Do lewy 6 krótki, 80 Prawy 7, 180 Prawy 6 plus krótki, media hamuj 30, lewy 4 plus krótki, śmiało otwiera. 20, prawy 5 podbija, taki 4 plus media spi. 30, prawy 6 krótki, 40, lewy 4 plus krótki, śmiało. Bale, lewy 5 plus długi, późno. Otwiera 6 minus, typek szczytem trzymaj. 80, prawy 5 minus media, późno spi. 80. Prawy 7, hamuj 50, nie widać, prawy 4, plus, tutaj, prawy 6, minus i 80. Prawy 6, długi zasięg, 5, minus media, i do lewy 6, krótki, minus media, i do lewy 6, krótki, 40, lewy 5, minus krótki, i 60, hamuj, lewy 3, slow, typ, 3, slow, typ, 50, prawy 7, 300. Lewy 7, to hamuj, nie widać, prawy 5 mediaty. To hamuj, nie widać, prawy 5 mediaty. 40, lewy 5 plus krótki, 80. Lewy 6 plus krótki, 200. Lewy 7 krótki, 80. Hamuj, prawy 6 plus na 40, lewy 4, długi, max typ. 4, długi, max typ. Do prawy 7 krótki 60 Prawy 5 minus krótki typ 60 Prawy 5 krótki Do lewy 6 krótki 80 Prawy 6 minus 50 Lewy 4 plus krótki Zostań Do prawy 5 zacisk 3 pas 3 pas 
do lewy 5 krótki 60 prawy 6 krótki 50 ślisko lewy 5 minut meta 40 prawy 6 minut I pay quite big price for a mistake. Uh, I could pay much higher price. Uh, that's uh, that's for sure. Unfortunately, part of this sport, you know, you have to accept it. When you are driving, you are not thinking about it. I I have spent hard time through after the accident for many months, I would say even for nearly two years. Not only hard time because of the surgeries, because of the recovery, because of the pain, but you know, after it, you know, when you lie down in the hospital, uh, you start missing it and then you are realizing how big, maybe not love, but the uh, effect you have to the sport and to what you are doing. I miss racing in F1, yes. Uh, when you do everything to become F1 driver, and once you become, you stay there, and then suddenly it stops, it's, uh, you know, it's, not painful, but uh, definitely it's not something you were looking for. But uh, that's life. Unfortunately, you know, I have suffered big injuries in the rally crash. But uh, on the other hand, uh, I'm still lucky that uh, I'm able to drive. I'm able to drive on the high level, although not anymore in F1. Driving in F1, if, for now, it will not be such a big problem. The problem will be to drive a uh, complete race in all circuits. That's uh, unfortunately not possible for now. The problem in F1 is the space, and uh, maybe one day if uh, you know Charlie or uh, FIA will uh, design, uh, you know, say the rule that the car has to be wider 10-15 centimeters, I can drive. But it's not that rally is you know like second choice. What is important for me is that I'm seeing progress. You know, uh, even if uh, in normal life I struggle with using hand driving, I see the progress. I see the progress in the rally car, I see the progress in simulator, so uh, also riding is uh, more difficult for my hand. The question is uh, how far I will go and how long it will take, but uh, to be honest it really doesn't matter if it will take one month, one year or ten years. Maybe, you know, one day I will have chance to drive F1 again.